at my tricks really livened up the family day at your dad's work. <laughs> I knew I'd find you here. It's my boss, Mr Scrimp. He wants both of us to report to his office right away. Oh, dear. I knew I shouldn't have taken you to the family day. Coming! <laughs> ah, what's his name? I want a word with this son of yours. So, young what's-his-name, was it you who put soap flakes in the cistern of the executive toilet? Me? I'm sure it was some sort of mistake. Quiet, what's-his-name. I'm talking to the boy. Hmm. And are you the same little rascal who put wind-up piranha fish in the water cooler? Stick out your tongue, Miss Jones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that was just... Fair enough. It was me. And to liven things up a bit, this place is so boring! No. <laughs> Excellent. That's quite a boy you've got there. What's his name? Eh? The thing is, we're creating a new range for the young consumer and we need young what's-his-name's expertise. How do you fancy creating your very own range of the ultimate practical jokes, eh? We'd call them the Menace Collection. Wow! You want me to design jokes? Exactly. You see, we've been having some problems with our prototypes. Cast your expert eye over them, young man. We tried to upgrade the squirty flower by inventing the squirty bouquet. <laughs> Certainly wet enough, but difficult to direct. Hmm. I see the problem. Let's see how good a golfer you are. What's his name? <laughs> As you see, our exploding golf balls don't always work. <laughs> I see. I'm sure I can improve that lot. Excellent. You have full access to my design team. A good man. Thanks for bringing young What's-His-Name to my attention. Oh, by the way, can you get hold of a pair of tartan trousers and a diamond-checked sweater? Yes, I think so. Good. Then you must join me at the golf club on Sunday. Me? At the golf club? Wow, I, I, I mean... Uh, of course, Mr. Scrimp. Get ready for joke number one, Mr. Scrimp, which Walter's kindly volunteered to test. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Time to give each plant its daily drink. Oh, I see. A new bush. Hmm. Father must have planted it. Wow! <laughs> it's torturing me! <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll find the squirty bush out wet, the squirty bouquet. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, bravo. Wonderful. <laughs> Hello. A, a spherical object approaching me from a, from a westerly direction. Oh, I can't resist it. <laughs> Exploding golf balls. Ha! I take things to the max. <laughs> I love the added helping of green guns. <laughs> A master stroke. Well, what do you think of my outfit? Well, I do. Yes, yes, very nice. Oh, you should have seen that lad of yours, what's his name? He's really coming up with the goods. All we need now is one top of the range joke and we're ready. Ready? Ready for what? Ready to open our first Menace Collection joke shop right here in Beano Town. I'll rent this place to some chap called Ho Ho or Hee Hee or something. You mean Mr. Ha Ha? That's the fellow. Anyway, we're going to close him down, then reopen as our very own joke shop. But Mr. Ha Ha's been there for years. Exactly. Time he got another job. But... So put your thinking cap on. I want to see something really special. <laughs> and I'll see you at the golf club on Sunday, what's his name? Mike Minasha, I think I must be dreaming. <laughs> 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 
So, you found out that Mr Scrimp wants to close you down. How, how did you know that? Cos I'm the one who's inventing the jokes for the new store. Oh, no. Oh, yes. If I come up with a knockout practical joke, you'll lose your shop. If I don't, I won't get me dream job. And poor Dad won't get to the golf club. But, but, practical jokes are my life. Imagine never smelling another steak bomb, never feeling the tingle of a hand buzzer, never scaring Walter with a jumping spider. There must be a way out. Hang on. Nasha, get Curly and Pie Face for a treehouse meeting. Top priority. Yes. So that's the problem. To put Scrimp off pranks for life, we need to come up with the mother of all practical jokes. It's got to be the biggest, best practical joke ever. What about a mega loud whoopee cushion? Or a super stinky stink bomb? Or a turbo powered space hopper? But wait, imagine if you will, not just a whoopee cushion, not just a stink bomb, not just a space hopper, but all these things rolled into one bouncy castle. The three in one. This is the ultimate, Mr Scrimp, the greatest of all practical jokes. Mm. Looks just like an ordinary bouncy castle to me. But it's so much more. Really? Presenting the three in one. One, two, three. Three awesome gags in one. I see. Well, it sounds good, but I have to see it in action. All I can say is it would take a brave man to try it out. A brave man, eh? Hmm. How about you, what's his name? Oh, no, uh, Mr Scrimper. I really think you should have the honour. Oh, well, uh, all right. Uh, here goes. Practical jokes could be this dangerous. Oh, the project's off. Finished. Finito. But it, no buts, what's his name? Oh, jokes like this would ruin the company. Oh, so does that mean my invitation to golf's withdrawn? Eh? Not at all. Well, it turns out Scrimp's not going to close me down. Thanks to the three in one. And you've given me a great idea for a mini version. The Menace Ball. <laughs> Watch, listen and smell. <laughs> Plenty more ideas where that came from, Mr Ha Ha. What a brilliant day. Wonder how Dad's enjoying his game of golf. Keep up, what's his name? Come on, man! <laughs> yes, Mr. Scrimp. Of course, Mr. Scrimp.
lovely fun day at Beano Town Lake. What could be better? Hey! Oi! Oh! Now then, Dennis, I'm not having you wandering off causing trouble. So while we're here, stay inside this circle where I can keep my eye on you. What? There's plenty to do. Here, dig a hole. Ah, this is the lie. Time to work on that tan. Dig a hole? Hmm. OK, Nasher old chum. How do you fancy a dabble at digging? <laughs> That'll keep him busy while we go and have some real fun. Come on, Nasher. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a flat-billed Beano Town Blue and a Pomeranian Puff Crested Dabbler. Time to put the cat amongst the pigeons. <laughs> what? <laughs> Buzz off! No! Time for action. Crumbs away! <laughs> Walter, <laughs> but you quack me up. <laughs> You'll pay for this, Dennis. <laughs> Get away! <laughs> Hello, what's this? Madam Gigi is off to grab some lunch. If you want your fortune told, I'll be back in twenty minutes. Uh, okay. This gives me a brain stonkingly brilliant idea. Are you sure about this, Walter? Absolutely, positively sure. He's coming. He's coming. Operation Destiny Dennis is up and running. I think the bumper cars are up this way, Nasha. A fortune teller? <laughs> what a load of old rubbish. Little boy. Step inside my marquee of miracles and discover what the future has in store for you. What? Me? No way! Madame Gigi knows everything about you, Dennis. <gasps> How did you know me? What's going on here? <laughs> the mists are clearing. Wait! Yes! All is revealed! OK, Madame Gigi. Tell me what fun I have in store today. Today is not a day for jokes, menacing and teasing folks. Start behaving at the double, or you will be in big, big trouble. Act the way you really ought to, and be especially nice to Walter. If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. A nice, peaceful day for Walter. <laughs> I have to make sure nothing nasty happens to Walter today or I'm in big trouble. Hi, Dennis. Coming on the bumper cars? Uh, yeah, a absolutely. It's about time for some crash bang action. <laughs> Typical Dennis. 
this. Still causing trouble. <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> if just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. Uh oh. <laughs> I've got you! Dennis, let go! Ah! This isn't what I planned! Don't worry! I won't let anything happen to you! if I say so myself. Yahoo! Oh, look what you've done to my gorgeous geraniums! <laughs> Come here! Are you all right, Walter? <gasps> Thanks to you, Dennis. My nerves are in shreds. Oh, maybe I could buy you a nice ice cream to help calm you down. How's that, eh? All right, then. I can't see how that could cause any trouble. <sighs> Yummy! A chunky chop chip cherry tutti fruity with extra sprinkles. <laughs> no! And while one of them was messing about in a boat, the other one knocked me head first into the lake. Have you seen what they did to my petunias? With all your little hooligans. Now, now, don't worry. The second I clap eyes on those little scamps, I'll, I'll spring into action like a jet propelled panther. There they are. Look, look. Oh, horrible little horrors. Oh, Dennis, you idiot. Now look what you've gone and done. I was just trying to keep you out of trouble, Walter. Ha-ha! <laughs> what have we here? The little whippersnappers who are messing about in Madame Gigi's tent. The stars are not happy. Oh, oh, I didn't mean it. It was a silly joke. I just dressed up as you to spook Dennis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, it was you all the time. I've wasted the whole day looking after you when I could have been having fun. Well, well now, hold it right there. Uh, are you telling me you were just trying to help him all along? Exactly. In the lake, with the kite and the wasp. Well, then, that's a, that's a different kettle of fish. Seems like it's Walter and, and, and not Dennis who should be punished. Roll up, roll up, splat the scallywag. Step right up and have a go. Come on. No! Uh, oh! Ha, ha, ha! Bullseye! Yeah! And that's for me loopings. Ha <laughs> ha! For once it's not me up to me neck in trouble. <laughs> but you did think it was amusing to bury me up to my neck in sand. I I uh I have an idea how to make this fun day even funnier. <laughs> well, Madam Gigi, I guess your prediction came right after all. What do you mean? If just one hair on his head gets hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. I'm certainly getting my just dessert. <laughs> and it tastes like custard pie. Ready. 
ready for the big launch. <laughs> These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its mission to seek out strange new softies and menace them to boldly go where no mutt has gone before. There's only enough power in the elastic to send one small Abyssinian tripound into orbit. Oh. Good luck, Nasher old chum. Happy landings! Oh. Awesome! So every one of us must pull together in an effort to recycle and find new ways to create alternative sources of energy. Let us make Beano Town Greeno Town! The Mayor is absolutely right. Yes, we all need to do our bit to save the planet. I shall be moving amongst you, looking for the most eco-friendly, energy-saving citizen in Beano Town! Uh-oh! What's happened to the TV? It's simply super, Walter. Entertaining and energy efficient. This will make everybody sit up and take notice. <laughs> you maniac! Look what you've done! Keep your hair on, Walter. I was just testing out my new rocket. That's not a rocket. It's a... a, a rotten refuse receptacle. You've completely wrecked my beautiful wind-powered water feature. Wind-powered, did you say? Hmm. Wind-power could be the very thing I need to launch me Denterprise Mark II. Well, if you're sure you want to give me her lunch, that's very helpful of you, Dennis. Forget Mum's homemade parsnip puree. What you need, be is big beans! <laughs> Beans, beans are good for the heart and help to make me rocket start. Eat up, bean. I don't get it, Jen. What's the plan? It's very simple, Curly. I'm experimenting with new sources of energy. Have you never heard of wind power? Fascinating. I shall have to keep an eye on this young man. OK, let's get this rocket off the ground. Was that the mayor I just saw? I'm very keen to show him my wind-powered water feature. I had to rebuild it, all thanks to you, Dennis. Walter, look, your foot. Uh -huh. You noticed my new homemade eco-trainers. <laughs> That idea. Where am I going to find another new source of energy for me rocket? Ah, 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 ah yes. Oh, not only am I getting fit, I'm, I'm, I'm providing all the energy for every electrical device in the house. Oh. Pedal power. Nice one, Dad. Nasha, after I launch Enterprise 2, you'll be heading for the stars. Huh? This is the way forward, Nasha. Pedal power! Pedal power? This boy is a shining beacon of energy efficient excellence. I spoke too soon. Well, Nasha, looks like we'll have to put your first space flight on the back burner. <sighs> Wait till the mayor sees this lot. He'll be over the moon. Unlike you, Nasha. <laughs> oh, yes. This compost is going to make me a household name. <laughs> 
<laughs> what a whiff! Remove your nose immediately, Dennis. I do not wish to contaminate my precious cargo. A barrel load of mouldy cabbage leaves and rotting apple cores? Not for very much longer. All this biodegradable material is soon to be fermented and recycled into biofuel to power my new eco-friendly combined cuckoo clock and cocoa maker. Biofuel what? You mean you can make fuel from stinky old fruit and veg? Indubitably. Any fuel knows that. <laughs> Excellent. Just what I need for the next phase of my menacing mission to Mars. I'll take that. Thanks. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> nice one. What the? <laughs> it's that boy again. Incredible. He never stops. Now, what's that nitwit up to? OK, Nasha. Time to turn bruised beetroot and battered broccoli into biofuel. <laughs> With all this power, we'll be able to launch the whole shed into space. <laughs> Keep shoveling, Nasha. We need more energy. <laughs> Dennis, are you sure? Absolutely positive. I've been following his activities very closely. What a splendid eco-friendly example to all the young folk of Beano Town. It's not possible, is it? I have decided to award your son the town's highest honour, the Legion de Compost, for all his services to recycling and energy conservation. Dennis, the metal... I must be dreaming! So, where is uh, the hero of the hour? Well, I, I, I think he's out the back, in the shed. OK, helmet's on. <laughs> this is going to be awesome! Prepare for ignition and blast off! Oh, what? Who's that? Congratulations, young man! Uh, what? As Mayor of Beano Town, I would like to thank you for all your hard work and devotion to the cause of recycling and energy conservation. Oh, hooray! But, but, Mr Mayor, I protest. What about my wind-powered water feature? And my... Shush, Walter. Uh, great. Thanks. Gotta go! <laughs> Anxious to get back to your work, eh? But first, the presentation. No, but I need to... Oh! <laughs> and so, it gives me great pleasure to award you, Dennis, this special medal, which, naturally, has been recycled from old milk bottle tops and tin... Oh, well done, Go Dennis! On, Good lad! Uh, thanks, great. Goodbye! <laughs> He's so modest, isn't he? We must have a photograph now. <laughs> and you're not to stop working until you've cleaned up every inch of the town. Great. Instead of sweeping across the universe, I'm stuck here sweeping up the street. Ah, Dennis, since you're so fond of recycling, you'll be glad to hear that I'm recycling your pocket money for the next five years to pay for all the damage you've caused. Oh! Well, at least it can't get any worse. Oh, dear, Dennis. Talk about coming down to earth with a bump! <laughs> <laughs> Walter, that's what I call coming down to earth with a bump. Welcome home, boy. You're the world's first astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> Ch 
took away the detention book, Dennis. Of course! If Mrs Creature hasn't got it, she won't know when we're in detention. And I'm in for the rest of the year. Yeah, but we're not. <coughs> What are you boys doing? You know you're not allowed here. Uh, sorry, Mrs. Creature. Uh, we were just looking for um, uh, uh, me old skateboard. Weren't we, Pie Face? Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> now, pay attention. Here's an important message from the mayor. Good morning, class. I am pleased to announce that Beano Town School has been chosen to test a new administration system. No more wasteful paper. Everything's been computerized. But remember, it's vital that you follow the computer's instructions to the letter. Here's my new laptop. Excellent! <laughs> This memory stick holds all the information you need. Diaries, timetables, records, everything. Now, all the info has been transferred to your laptop. Amazing! Now, all we have to do is consult the computer to see what we're doing next. There. You're all set. Thank you. Did he say... Every bit of information's in the stick, Mrs. Creature. Yes, Dennis. Including all your detentions. Plus a new one for mucking about by the bin this morning. Oh, not fair! And Curly and Pieface will be joining you. Huh? Nice one, Dennis. All afternoon in detention, thanks to you. At least you're not stuck in there forever like I am. Hey! This is the memory stick that guy had. He must have dropped it. So? So maybe we should take a little trip to the computer room. Wow! How wicked is that? It's the master program for Mrs Creature's new system. Does that mean you can delete it? Don't be daft. Why delete it when you can change it? It's time school was fun! Settle down, please. Let's see what's in store for us today. I think it's our history test this morning, Mrs Creature. Oh, it's been cancelled. Yeah! That's appalling, Mrs Creature. Walter, you heard what the mayor said. We must follow the computer's instructions exactly. Now, what else has changed? Oh, all detentions cancelled. Pies and ice cream for lunch. Oh, and there's a new rule that says pets can come to school. <laughs> so, what is our first lesson, Mrs Creature? It's uh, drum and bass studies. Oh. <laughs> nice one, Dennis! <laughs> yeah, even Mrs Creature's enjoying herself. Oh, this is outrageous! The school's going to the dogs! <laughs> Mrs Creature! Oh, come on, Walter! Don't be a square! <laughs> What's next, Mrs Creature? Uh, go kart racing. <laughs> I don't remember ordering all these cars. Oh, hello. That new computer system, are you sure you installed it correctly? Everything's, uh, different. Well, it will seem different for a while. Don't worry, just do what it says. It is foolproof. <laughs> Come on, Mrs Creature, you're missing all the fun. Mrs Creature, you have to stop this at once. 
She's doing what the mayor says, Walter. I think you're just trying to get her into trouble. Walter, I'm surprised at you. Away. No, it's up to us to save the school. In fact, this is our chance to make it the school we've always dreamed of. This is amazing, Dennis. I never thought I'd wake up looking forward to school. Eh? Next. Thank you, Walter. Next. Wait for Dennis's turn. Why can't Nasha come in? Oh, they've changed the rules again. So send him home and get changed out of those ridiculous clothes. Hide somewhere. And now hand over those sweets. Oh, genius, Walter. Ha! This is only the beginning. Someone's changed the computer program again. Where's the memory stick? I don't know. It must have fallen out of my pocket in the car race. Right, settle down, please. So, today we have the history test we didn't have yesterday, then maths, flower arranging, and experimental jazz appreciation. And uh, what's for lunch, Mrs. Creature? Uh, lettuce and seaweed soup made from hand-picked Sicilian lettuce and baby Norwegian kelp. Oh. <laughs> oh, and Dennis, all your detentions are back again. Right. I should have known. I can't take much more of this. We have to get the memory stick back from Walter. And now, one of my favourites, Sleepless Night by Glass Popper Van Shriek. Walter, hand it over. Catch Bertie! Dudley! Walter! Dreams, Walter! What are you boys doing in here? Look on the bright side. At least we got rid of Walter's system. Please, Mrs. Creature. No, Walter. We're going back to the old ways and that's it. Quite right, Mrs. Creature. And as for this, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Dennis! Nasha, the one. 
underdog will perform their most daring stunt. A leap across Devil's Gulch. Thanks. For your information, this is a hutch. Shows how much you know about pets. Oh, come through, Walter. Oh, this is so exciting. <coughs> this is Walter's new pet, Dennis. He's a black Flemish giant. Huh. Looks more like a rabbit. We're looking after him for a few days while Walter's away. <coughs> Remember, he's very highly strung. No loud noises or sudden movements. He must have absolute quiet. He looks like a big bowl of fluff. What's his name, anyway? If you must address him, his pedigree name is Louis-Pierre Sebastien Lefleur III. Nah, we'll just call him Fluff. <laughs> Don't worry, Walter. We'll look after him. I used to breed rabbits when I was a girl. We'll give him lots of lettuce. No treats? These pellets will provide him with all the vitamins and minerals he needs to keep his fur silky and soft. Nice and fluffy, you mean? Au revoir, Louis-Pierre. Be brave. Mwah. Mwah. I reckon Walter's rabbit looks a bit lonely stuck in that cage. You're right there, Den. It's a dog's life. Uh, being a rabbit. What he needs is a bit of company. Come on, Nasha. Are you sure, Dan? Your mum said we weren't to... Come off it, Curly. I'm great with pets. Just look at Nasha, the best-kept dog in the world. <laughs> Come on, Fluff. We don't bite. These lettuces are coming along nicely. Nothing like a crisp bit of lettuce with your ra rabbit. By all that's khaki, I'll teach you to eat my prize vegetables. Colonel, have you seen a big black rabbit? Don't worry, madam. I've hunted bigger game in my time. Never seen an animal I couldn't bag with this little beauty. <gasps> no! Oh, my. Curly! Pie face! See anything? Yes. Good. Where's Fluff? Not Fluff. Walter! Walter? What's he doing back here? Walter, what are you doing back here? Pie face! Listen, I'll go and help Dennis. You keep Walter occupied. Huh? Me? Gotcha! Oh, Colonel, thank goodness. Well done, Colonel. Yeah, nothing to it. Got to watch these blighters, though. Vicious bite, some of them. Uh, Mum? <laughs> Cherry, nice, eh? Hmm. But this one, oh, she's my favourite. Apple and blackberry with a sweet pastry crust. Strange hobby, photographing pies. My other hobby is eating them. Do you want to see some more? <clears throat> yes, well, what do you expect? Look at him. Same colour and everything. You've done it this time, Dennis. If Walter finds out, he's not going to, Mum. The Colonel's just given me an idea. I have? What's that? Nasha, you're my closest friend, aren't you? <laughs> and a friend in need is a friend indeed, right? <laughs> 
You've got to help me out of this mess. It'll be worth it. I promise. You see, I've had this idea for you. You know how you are. <laughs> That's agreed then, Mum. Nasha's having a makeover. I must say, you do look the part, Nasha. <laughs> now then, remember, quiet as a mouse. I mean, a rabbit. Here, Nasha. Keep these out of sight. <laughs> oh, uh, Walter, I thought you'd gone. I forgot my Wellingtons. Is everything all right? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> What's all the barking? Oh, uh, Nash is not quite himself today. Well, that's good. Because his normal self is revolting. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, Dennis, uh, there he goes now. Yes, I'll uh, hop after him. Fluff, I mean, Nasha, here, boy. Oh, look at my glasses. Right, I'm going to see if Louis Pierre is okay before anything else happens. Oh, uh, um, <laughs> oh there's no need. <laughs> They went behind the shed. Good. There's no escape. Leave it to me. Got you! Look like an oversized rodent to you, do I, lad? No. Sorry, Colonel. Poor thing. He must be tired out. Hmm. He shouldn't be. I only just fed him his vitamins. Louis Pierre, what have you got there? Oh, my sausages. That's where they went. Oh, go. Uh, uh, to me. Silly rabbit. Goodness, he's not usually so aggressive. <laughs> Wait a minute, Jane. Look! Hold on, Fluff. We'll save you. I'm very disappointed in you, Louis Pierre. But I suppose if you're still hungry, you can have a delicious biscuit. <laughs> it's your favourite. Seaweed and spinach. <laughs> Look, Dad! He's heading for that tree! <laughs> It's a job for Nasha. Yuck! Bad rabbit! Bad boy! <laughs> Pierre! Oh, I didn't mean it! Come back! <laughs> Fluff! Jump! And Nasha. Oh, you found him! You found Louis Pierre! Yes, it was nothing really. And it looks like Nasha helped. Of course. He's an Abyssinian white haired tripound, the smartest dog in the world. Wait a minute. What's wrong with his tail? It looks all fluffy. Uh huh. That explains the sausages. You let Louis Pierre escape! We thought he might need some exercise. Uh, good. Uh, well, no harm done, eh? No harm done? Look at him! He's traumatised! Oh, come on, Louis Pierre, mon ami. A bowl of fibre-rich soya pellets for you, followed by a nice long rest. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan. I think he likes... 